Hello there. In today's video, I'm going to show you seven new features in OneNote. Are you ready? I know I am, so let's go. The first new feature I think you will love. Typically, in the Windows desktop version for OneNote, the pages are down the right and sections are across the top. If you use a lot of sections like I do, these will be hidden. With the new update, go to the View tab and then the Tabs Layout and click Vertical Tabs. Now we have the sections down the left as well as the pages. So it's similar to the web and mobile versions of OneNote. In the next new feature, improvements have been made to inking and drawing. Using a mouse, finger or a stylus pen, as I draw various shapes rather badly, OneNote will shape them nicely for me. In the third new feature, there's a keyboard shortcut for drawing straight lines. Just hold Shift Draw your line and OneNote will keep it straight. There is another improvement to inking and drawing. If I draw a square, then keeping the pen held down, I can resize and rotate the shape. You can also do this with other shapes like a triangle. This will also work with a mouse or your finger. The Maths Assistant has been in OneNote for a while where you could get it to solve maths equations. Now it has this added option to help you practice. This will take a similar example and provides multiple choice answers for you to practice with. I'm surprised to get that one right. It also provides step-by-step -step solutions, which you can add to your notes by clicking here. Sticking with maths, there is now an immersive reader to make reading equations like this easier to read and understand. There is a play button to have the steps read back to you Steps for solving linear equation. You can also click on the words to have these played back individually. Divide. Some words will give you a picture to show you what it means. If you use the file printout to put in PDFs into your OneNote, for example, if you want to write over the top of a document, there's a new update which reduces the file size, resulting in more storage space and fast syncing. Did you know you can easily convert Word into a PowerPoint presentation? In this video, I will show you how.